Let me tell you what's out there. Vast reaches of wilderness. Untamed. A rugged domain. Majestic. But lethal. It belongs to them. The machines. The steel beasts who rule these lands. And guard the secrets buried beneath its crumbling ruins. If you hunt these wilds, no matter how skilled you are, no matter how clever, you will become the hunted. Can you brave that challenge? Can you pass that test? If you want to survive, you have to make the kill. Only then can you bring to light the deep secrets of the Earth. and in this history, humans share the world with the last remnants of a forgotten species of intelligent creatures. Now what's unique about our game is that you see the world through the eyes of these creatures. And at the moment, we have the point of view of a young creature, basically a child as it's searching for its parents. As you can see, these creatures move on all fours. Our young creatures are good at sneaking, climbing, and jumping. This is a cruel world, uh, and humans have almost eradicated your kind entirely. Here we can see two of them hacking away at the body of your father, probably to take a trophy. Hit that hump! They've spotted us. We need to get away. And while a child, you can easily be killed, even by the weakest humans. We're trapped on this bridge. Maybe there's an escape route. Okay, I think we're safe. As you move around the caves and tunnels that these creatures inhabit, you'll see what humans have done to your kind over the years. Sneak to safety. Now, one of the things about being a young creature is that you're, you can crawl into spaces that no human could follow. Now this huge cave, with the mysterious tree, is one of the last few places of refuge in the world for creatures like you. So that's the world through the eyes of a young creature, running away from even the weakest human. Now we're going to go forward in time and see the world through the eyes of a larger, more powerful adolescent creature, and see what they're capable of doing.
shadow of death And I fear no evil Because I'm blind to it all In my mind, my gun, they comfort me Because I know I'll kill my enemies when they come Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life And I will dwell on this earth forevermore Said I walk beside the still waters and they restore my soul But I can't walk on the path of the right because I'm wrong No, I can't walk On the path of the right Because I'm wrong What are you doing, kiddo? You really gonna go through with this? I'm gonna find and I'm gonna kill every last one of them. <laughs>
Oh, shit.
Conan Exiles is an open world survival game set in the universe of Robert E. Howard's Conan the Barbarian. Your first moments in Conan Exile are gonna be pretty rough. Cut down from a cross, left in the sand to die, you need to find yourself water. Then you can start thinking on building a, a bow with arrows or some projectile weapons so you can go hunting. Some of these creatures are obvious and somewhat mundane, like elephants, which you'll be hunting for ivory. But then there's creatures that you'll need silver to defeat, and you'll need to go and hunt those in the dark and haunted places of Hyboria. Building is a very important aspect of survival as well. Having a building in Conan Exiles provides shelter from the environment, um, keeps you safe from the dangers of the outside, will keep you safe from your enemies in PvP. And of course, it provides a place for you to put all your stuff and lock it behind closed doors. Thralls are another very important tool that we have for survival. You make thralls, you create thralls. For example, you capture a blacksmith thrall and he'll give you access to items that can only be crafted by that blacksmith thrall. That allows you, for example, to create Sumerian weapons even though your character is not a Sumerian. One of the advantages of capturing thralls and breaking their wheel on the Wheel of Pain is that then you can use them to defend your base when you're not around. Your small private army of thralls will be able to keep your stuff protected while you're not there. It is very important that you do prepare for the sandstorm because it will ultimately kill you. Two options. You can either find shelter or you can craft yourself a rebreather mask which will allow you to survive and explore in the sandstorm. As you explore the dark and dangerous places of Hyboria, it'll also start to drive you insane. You'll start to see things and hear things that aren't there. But there are ways that you have to get rid of it. For example, you can capture and convert thralls that will dance for you, whose main effect is that they help you get rid of your corruption. Religion is another very important aspect of survival uh, as one of the major drivers for conflict. Avatars are a major dominating force in this world. It takes a very significant investment and when you summon, you can rest assured they're going to have a huge impact. When you start Conan Exiles, you'll be scavenging resources from the wasteland, sticks and stones to create your first rudimentary axe, but by the end, you'll be summoning an avatar of a god to smite your foes. Regarding survival, you better run. When you're not exploring the ruins of alien spacecraft for the origins of the signal, you're going to be fighting enemy factions for control of various locations across the world. The faction you're working with already has a strong presence on the planet, but it's down to you to expand that influence and to use their resources to uncover the secrets of the signal. Rival factions are here too, and they're going to be working against you. All this is dynamically driven by the AI, with no scripted encounters, and all the activity in the world is driven by the bots heading out into the landscape to patrol, to survey ruins and relics, and of course to attack enemy bases. We love this sort of dynamic activity in the game because it brings the world to life, and ultimately results in plenty of action. has immediately engaged some other group on the far side of it, giving away that we were about to be attacked by the third faction. Once we take the bunker, our own guards will spawn and help us engage this new threat.
so the battle continues. There is, of course, more to Tolva than combat. And we think you're going to get a kick out of exploring the weird sci-fi world that we've created. The signal from Tolva is coming in early 2017, and we can't wait to see what you make of it. Get some. I'm making progress here. 